a frequently used formula for computing the peak rate of runoff from small drainage areas, for example, less than about 200 acres or 80 hectare, is the rational method. This equation is Q equals CIA, where Q equals peak runoff rate in cubic feet per second. C equals dimensionless coefficient between 0 and 1. I equals rainfall intensity in inches per hour, IPH, for the design storm frequency and for the time of concentration of the drainage area. A equals area of drainage area in acres, AC. The equation is based on the theory that the peak rate of runoff from a small area is equal to the intensity of rainfall multiplied by a coefficient that depends on the characteristics of the drainage area, including land use, soils, and slope, and by the size of the drainage area. The extent of the drainage area is determined by connecting the high points and ridge lines on a topographic map or grading plan until a closed system is developed. Drainage areas may vary in size from several hundred square feet, 40 to 50 meters squared, for an area drain, or several square miles or square kilometers for a stream, up to thousands of square miles or square kilometers for a large river, in which case it is called a watershed. It must also be realized that drainage area boundaries are independent of property lines. It is important to include all parts of a drainage area, even if they are beyond the property line. The rational method makes the simplifying assumptions that the rainfall intensity is uniform for the duration of the storm, which must equal at least the time of concentration and that the precipitation falls on the entire drainage area during that time. These assumptions obviously cannot be applied to large areas. One acre inch per hour of water may be converted to cubic feet per second as follows. The rate computed by the rational method is therefore dimensionally incorrect by 0.8%. This is generally ignored, since, as previously stated, the field of hydrology is not an exact science. For the metric system, the equation Q equals CIA must be modified so that it can be used with the following measurement units. Q equals peak runoff rate, cubic meters per second. C equals dimensionless coefficient between 0 and 1. I equals rainfall intensity, millimeters per hour, or the design storm frequency, and for the time of concentration of the drainage area. A equals drainage area, hectares. The adjustment factor is shown here. When determining area, it is important to remember to convert square meters to hectares for this calculation. The runoff coefficient, C, is a value between 0 and 1. 0 represents a completely pervious surface from which there is no runoff, while 1 represents a completely impervious and wetted surface from which there is total runoff. Table 12.1 from the Figures and Tables document contains suggested C values for a variety of surface conditions. For pervious areas, the C value would increase as the soil becomes saturated. Most drainage areas consist of a variety of surfaces with different C values. Runoff volumes may be computed for each surface separately, or an average C value can be computed for the entire drainage area if the locations of the various land uses are mixed throughout the area. Rainfall intensity, I, is the rate of rainfall in inches per hour or millimeters per hour for the design storm frequency and for the time of concentration of the drainage area. The storm frequency is the number of years during which the design storm, or a storm exceeding it, statistically may be expected to occur once.
It must be pointed out that the frequency is based on long-term probabilities and that, for example, a 10-year frequency storm could conceivably occur several times during a period of less than 10 years. This might be compared to throwing a die, for which the overall probability of coming up six is one out of six throws, but that could come up several times in succession. The design storm is a storm with a frequency and duration for which the management system is designed. The selection of a design storm is based on economics, environmental context, and the ultimate consequences should the system overflow, or it may be prescribed by applicable regulations. Rainfall intensities for various durations may be obtained from National Weather Service publications and charts similar to this one. The time of concentration, T sub C, is the time required for water to flow from the hydraulically most remote part of the drainage area to the section under consideration. It is important to realize that this is not necessarily the longest distance since overland and channel flow time is dependent on slope, surface, and channel characteristics. Assuming a theoretical storm of uniform intensity falling uniformly over the entire drainage area with a duration equal to or exceeding the time of concentration, the maximum runoff is reached at the time of concentration. At this time, all parts of the drainage area are contributing simultaneously to the runoff at the section under consideration. Convenient charts that are used to estimate time of concentration are illustrated in Figure 12.3 for overland flow time, which is demonstrated in Example 12.3, and in Figure 12.4 for channel flow time, which is applied in Example 12.4. Both of these figures may be found in the Figures and Tables document. The USDA Natural Resources Conservation Service formerly the Soil Conservation Service, methodology for calculating the time of concentration discussed in the next chapter may also be used as a basis for determining design storm intensity using the rational method. In the next few sections you will have the opportunity to read through formulas and calculation examples at your own pace. Press the Next button to continue moving forward through the chapter.